enjoy it. Can you, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can you talk a little bit about fan reaction to Chuck's changes this season and about your overall story arc this year? Uh, yeah. Um, a lot of them haven't liked it. <laughs> and a lot of them really have liked it. It's, you know, I don't know. You can't please everybody. And, um, and there's two schools of thought. It's, you know, don't change. Uh, be the same show that you were the first season because that's what we liked. And then the other half is, no, please change because if you don't change, then it's boring and we want to keep progressing and moving forward. And that's the school of thought I believe in. I mean, if you're making a sitcom, I don't think that you should change all too much because the whole point of a sitcom should be more mindless laughter. It's like you just get to kind of check out for a half an hour. But with a show like ours, it's very unique in that, you know, we're, we're part comedy, part drama, part action, part romance, you know. And this season, I think, has been more dramatic than, than the last seasons have been. And some people really love that, and some people don't. So I, I don't know. You, you, you can't please everybody. But I, I, I hope that everyone at least kind of goes with the journey, you know, especially if they were with us from day one. I, I would hope they wouldn't just check out and be like, oh, I don't want to watch it anymore. Because we've been building on the same stories and same characters from the beginning, yeah, we are, so yeah, we are getting somewhere. <laughs> we are getting somewhere. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. I think, uh, un unlike, unlike Lost, which <laughs> uh, I can't, do man. I, and I'm still with it. I'm still with Lost, <laughs> although I missed the last couple episodes, so don't say. Um, but it killed me when I read that when I read that interview. Or I think did you email me that, or did I email? It was like some some like blurb that I think JJ or Damon or somebody said like, yeah, you know, um, we're not going to answer all the questions that have come up in the last five years. And I'm like, what? How could you not answer all these? Qu like you knew that you were going to come to the end, you know? And that just kills me. <laughs> not that I'm not gonna, not that I'm going to stop watching because I can't. <laughs> not at this point. What is the only question you definitely want to answer from now? What's that? What is the only question you definitely want answered from Lost? From Lost? Yeah. Well, I don't. I gotta wait till the end of the season or the the end of the season and end of the series to actually because they might answer it, you know. Yeah. But, but if I think they the don't big, answer this. It, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, what is the island? If they don't really answer that question, I think. I'll kill someone. <laughs> It'll probably be me. I'll, I'll just be like, all right, that's the end. You know, like, um, it was a good run. I don't know. But you got to know what the island is, and everyone's been guessing on that for years. And I and I think that I don't know, man. I think that they kind of. I think they started something. I think everyone pretty much thinks this. They started something and then quickly realized, do what do we do now? Uh, we painted ourselves in a corner. I don't so, know, maybe. So Chuck will definitely reveal what the Bymore is then. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The Bymore is a is an alien spaceship. <laughs> that uh, no, I, the, the Bymore is exactly what you think it is. It's just a bunch of a fully run store. Yeah, fully <laughs> run store. He was. You were just. Where were you in Jersey, New uh, York? New York. Yeah. He goes into a, a Best Buy in New York. <laughs> Was the first. Time. It doesn't happen in LA because I've gone to like every Best Buy in LA, yeah. hoping it would happen. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, but no, in New York, of course, it's New York. And so <clears throat> I walked in like five dudes, all in different spots of the store. Like, oh, you had a uniform. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. You didn't clock in yet. <laughs> nah, 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 show oh, you. Man. <laughs> it's like every step I took, I was like, right, I'm out of uniform. I get it. And he was like, no, I didn't clock in. He was asking me for help. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm like an idiot. You know. uh, it was so we have time for one more question, then we have to rotate. Oh. Well, you guys have really great chemistry together. How did you go about building it? It's all of a sudden. Um, heavy drinking. <laughs> no, uh, no, I, I don't know. I, I think that um, you know what works. Yeah, I mean, it could have been the opposite, and I'm sure that happens a lot. You know, but any any time a pilot is made, you you're you know you have a you have a week you have a week to like become best friends with someone or or build a a, a different type of relationship where you know this guy's playing. The, the 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 authority in your life, and you have to submit to that, and he's protecting you and hates you at the same time, and building on that. And uh, but, but really, you know, but even that has to build from a friendship. Even that has to build from a trust. The two actors, you know, have to assume in one another. And, and I think we were really, really blessed. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, uh, everyone in the cast all kind of came together and clicked and. You know, we were really supported by our writers, and you know, even McG. You know, when we were making the pilot, he he uh, got everybody together for lunch and, and said, "Let's all, you know, take time and get to know one another." And, and that doesn't always happen. And, and in television, 
it's in film and everything. You know, it's important because you don't know each other from Adam or, or Eve for that for that matter. But you know, us being gamers, that. That, that was the linchpin. That, that, that was uh, the glue. Ooh, I like it. Uh, do voiceovers on game. Yeah, and, and Adam does voiceovers on oh, Yeah, of course. And he's just an all around great guy. Yeah. And, you know, and we owe so much of, I think, our livelihood, of this, of this show's livelihood to the fans that followed Adam from, you know, the world, the wonderful world of Wheaton. And uh, so it, it's, been a, it's been a grand experience. And so that's where I think the chemistry comes from. I'd just like to say in closing, off the record, thank you all for uh, your support and or your caring enough to hold our feet to the fire and to you know, report it in a, in a fair and open way. And again, you know, it's, it's, we appreciate it and feel the love out there from you guys as well because you know, it's a show we really want to succeed and do well for you guys and the fans and for us as well, you know, with kids in college, off the record. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.